Hi Tron fans! In this video, we are going to show you how to program Tron Dance Show in 10 minutes. First, let's have a short example. This is your workspace. The first thing that you need to do is to insert the music. Program supports WAV files, but if you insert MP3 file, it's going to be automatically converted. The second thing that you need to do is to create the scene. You just open the effect library, select the dancer that you want to make glow, and put some color on him. When you have created the scene, you can just easily drag it to the timeline. The timeline is really helpful because you can see there the music. You can make the scene longer or shorter by holding the right mouse button. As you can see, in your library, you can create as many color effects as you want. There is another trick. If you want to make your effect fade in or fade out, you just double click on the scene and then you can change the opacity of the effect. Right now, we are adding another color, which is green. Our show mostly consists of blue and green color. If you want to create multiple scenes, which are the same length, you can use just the copy-paste system. You just create the scene, drag it to the timeline and copy it as many times as you want. Afterwards, you can just replace the scenes with the dancers that you want to make glow. It's really beneficial when you want to make the dancers glow one by one really quickly. You don't have to create a new scene every time. As you can see, we are using shortcuts a lot. If you want to put some color on the dancer, you don't have to click on the color every time, you can just use the keyboard combination of the color. When you are creating your own color, you can always create the shortcut as well and use it afterwards. Except for this, LSS has many other features which can make your work faster. You can check them all in Let's Strip Studio Basic Functions tutorial. In the library, you saw just a few colors, but in Let's Strip Studio, you can create really any color that you want. You can easily choose from the palette, but if you cannot find your color in the palette, you can also insert there the color code and the system gonna render you the color that you want. You can also create the color combinations. You just double click on this line and select the colors that you want. When you have chosen two colors, it means the dancer is going to be blinking. You can also change the frequency of blinking. When you change the relative time, it means how many times the dancer is going to change the color during the time period that you have chosen. If the second chosen color is black, we create something what we call strobe effect. We call it strobe effect because it really reminds you of the strobe lights on some parties of discos and when you put it on the dancer's suit it creates really interesting scene. You also need to be really careful about the color combinations that you choose. Sometimes the colors fit together in Let's Strip Studio but as soon as you play the show on the suit the colors don't fit together anymore. But after some time you will find which color combination really fit together and which are not really good to put on at the same time. Here as you can see, we are using a copy-paste system again. We want to make these dancers glow one by one quickly. It's really good for catching some strong beats. Maybe you can find weird that sometimes it looks like we are making glow random dancers. As like here, we made glow the dancer number one and dancer number five. But it's not like this. You always need to think of the positions of dancers in the choreography. So when you are programming, you either know the choreography or you have a video and you know which dancer is which number. Also before the show, it's really important that each dancer has his own number. It would become a real mess if the numbers would be swapped. So my advice to you is, to double check the numbers before each show. You will prevent yourself from the complications. 
The next thing I'm gonna explain to you are the layers. The bottom layers are always the dominant ones. So for example, when you make all dancers to glow on red color, but after you put the effect with a green color under it, all dancers gonna glow on green color because the bottom layer is the dominant one. Here, what we are creating right now is a video effect. You can choose from more different patterns and you can adjust the video effect on your dancers however you want. As you can see, here we are adjusting this video effect just on one dancer. You can also change the color of the video effect. Again, you can choose from any color that you want. If you try to play with the colors, you can get really interesting color combinations. Here we pick the blue and white. You can always use the video effects when you become fed up with the normal analog effects. But again, you need to be careful because sometimes it can look a little bit different when you play it on the suits. Right now, we are getting ready to create the part of the show when the legs and arms of the dancers are gonna be changing all the time in the same time period. For this scene, we are using just five dancers. As you can see, so many times we are not using all the dancers at the same time. It's because it would lose the magic of quick changes. There would be no surprise if all dancers are glowing at the same time. For this part, we have created two different scenes with the legs and then we drag them on a timeline and they're gonna be changing. We are doing the same thing with the arms. Again, we have created the scene with the arms of five dancers, another scene with the opposite arms and then we're gonna drag these scenes to the timeline. But arms and legs are not separated. This all is gonna happen at the same time. So we try to create something like a organized mess. Here you can see how copy paste makes my programming really easier again. I just copy all the scenes and then I just easily replace the scenes with the effects that I want. I don't have to measure the scenes or anything like this. I already have the length that I want. When you have created the scene and you know that you're gonna use it multiple times, you can just rename the scene, have it in your library and use it any times that you need. Here we are making some different color combinations. We decided that the legs and head are gonna be white, that the chest and belly are gonna be blue and arms are gonna be red. As I told you that we need to be careful about the color combination. Our experience is that it's really good not to use all the colors in the one show because then it really creates the rainbow effect which is not really the best for your show. But as I told you before, after some time you're gonna see yourself what's gonna look good or not. Right now, I'm creating last two effects of the show. As you can see, I'm making here a gap. That's because our show is synchronized with LED screen. So for this time, the dancers are blacked out and there are some effects screening on the LED screen. One last hint I'm gonna give you is, don't forget to save your show during your programming. The best is to save it as a new file. Then you can be sure that you're not gonna lose your data if anything happens. Now we are finished with our programming. You see, it wasn't difficult at all. Don't forget to check the timeline, how it is synchronized with dance suits. Thank you so much for your attention and see you in the next video.